Uh, Yo, what's good? What's good? What's up? Uh, my name is Troy, and this is. Bro, you don't do the intros. I do the intros. This is the intro. We're doing the intro together. I do the intros. What's up? It's your boy Jermaine coming back with another original video. It's your boy. Troy. <laughs> it's freaking goof. Yeah, it's your boy Jermaine and Troy up, coming guys? back. And we are mm, the gatekeepers coming back. Yeah, we're in the same spot. Yeah, we're in the same clothes. But you know what? The ideas keep flowing and we keep putting out content. So this next topic that we're going to talk about is wild, yo. Is wild. something that we yeah, we were talking about earlier today and like, <coughs> yo, we think that this shit might like, you know, <clears throat> cause rifts. Okay, so yo, we're all doomed. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the world is going to end in 2020 because yo, you know, it's 2020. Yo, every eyeglass place is going to have some type of campaign for 2020. Cause you know, perfect vision and you're going to see a whole lot of Horses and Illuminati nonsense. Symbols. Because, yo, why not? You know, 2020. Ooh, vision. Ah! Like, all those who are blind will in fact see. <laughs> <laughs> that's what will happen. That's what, that's, 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 that's what we're moving towards right now. Whole bunch of foolishness. Yep. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. Because that's life. So... We think that AI is going to be a huge thing in the next coming decade. Uh, reason being because we, you, you've, you've already seen Alexa. You, you already see Google Home or whatever like that. These, these little things that you put in your home and you connect it to your, your internet. And then you connect your... Let's say your 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 freaking lights to it. Yeah. You connect your freaking thermostat to it. Mm -hmm. You connect your TV to it. Yo, it basically runs your house. It, it runs your house for you, right? Yeah. Well, Alexa, turn on my lights. Click, clink, and your lights are on. Alexa, open up my garage door. Like what, fam? Shit is getting serious. And for all those who have a girlfriend named Alexa, don't mean this like any harm. Like we're not attacking you or anything. That's just a happy coincidence. Um, yeah. No, if but your girl is named Alexa, just know that she might be a little crazy. Don't listen to him. He's and she crazy. might have a microchip in the back of her neck. Your girlfriend's so, great. She's gonna be a good wife. She's great. So, so what you're gonna need to do is, listen. when she's sleeping, get the tweezers. Get the knife. As you were saying, make a um, make a small incision, <laughs> and then pluck out that microchip, because she could be the devil. Not everyone. And it's game over for you. Not every Alexa's a bad Alexa, man. Got it. Got to be. He's anyway. Um, don't worry about what he said. She she's good. Girlfriend's good. Um, <laughs> yeah, but honestly, like on a, on a real like artificial intelligence <laughs> is gonna take over the world. Um, and we were just talking about this today about how. Again, everything's moving so quickly and it's hard to keep track of where we will be in the next five years. Um, and I mean, I think right now, like everyone, you know, is either on their phones, on Instagram, they're posting videos, they're on Twitter, like everyone's just on social media. And I feel like we've lost our kind of sense of humanity. And I think that, I, I honestly think that we're not, we're not prepared as human beings for where the world's going. Um, and I mean, it's, it's a travesty because like, it's funny, like we were talking about this today, um, we're obviously nineties babies. And, uh, I think, I think, um, it's, it's weird. Like, you know, back then, like kids were into cartoons and just, just things that seem really, really normal. And now the new normal is my shit was roadrunner, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Roadrunner, roadrunner. <laughs> beep beep. Um, but I mean, yeah, like you, you like you ask the, the average kid today about that, like they have no idea what's going on. Like they're they're just on their phones. Like they're like Instagram is their normal. Instagram is their cartoon. You know what I mean? Like it's YouTube, Facebook, whatever it is. Like that's their normal now. So I mean, it's it's just funny to see things move so quickly. But 
I think one of the scariest things that we've been noticing is that things are moving to a point of no return. Like it's just uh, our society, everything's just moving so quickly, and I don't think um, that we'll be able to recover from where 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 it heads in the next five years. You know, mm-hmm. will we able to live? Will, will we be able to live without the things that we use now that are just becoming common common and normal and that are becoming law in our society like will, will we be able to live without phones and um and you know like like i mean yeah like it's 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 crazy like i, I don't know if you guys get where we're coming from this is actually nuts like i mean just just think about all the major apps and technologies that came out in the last five to ten years like facebook instagram twitter like these were all like Uber. things that we never had literally in the last 10 years and they're taking over guys like yo like for those of you who travel on ctc even presto like yo next year like it's all presto so like you can't if travel you if you don't know what presto is that's our like version of payment it's, in toronto it's the, the 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 green card like we're all gonna have green cards yeah we're, we're all legal but we're all gonna have green cards so if you're a citizen of canada you gotta have a green card for traveling you know, to travel on transit yeah um, it's it's nuts. It's like I think the world's going psycho, like for real. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is just it's us it's, putting it's like fact to paper yeah, it's fact or to fact paper. to thoughts. Yeah. Sorry. And all of the like, just what we've been noticing, mm-hmm. like yo, shit is changing rapidly, Fast. and yo, how how are you able to keep up with this? Yeah. You know. Like it's it's I mean it's it's crazy because all that's happening and w- one of the things that people um, you know are suffering from these days is is how to discover themselves like how to how to you know um, fit in society on social media and how to fit in and and mentally keep up a high self image and high self esteem and you know there are a lot of people on the sidelines who are suffering you don't hear about them because they're kind of overlooked they're kind of um, overrepresented. You know, in the in the the status and the stigma of Instagram and all the things that are happening on there, and you know, people people really really want to feel like they belong, guys. But it's hard because, like, how do you you know how do how do you react to to big butts? You know, how do you react to all the things that we see on IG that are completely normal now that wouldn't have been normal to see like just a few years ago? And then you have people who are struggling to find their identity and who they are and and, and to find their self-esteem and to find their self-image and you know and and, and who they are as men and women um and yeah and it just leads to a lot of a lot of health issues and a lot of people just people just want to fit in and it's hard <laughs> boy you know? yo, so if you, if you know all the big booty accounts that i'm following oh yeah, boy he's famous no i'm not famous <laughs> follow me on ig though jermaine young you already know don't worry i'll, I'll leave a link or yeah i'll spell it out whatever anyways yeah you know uh it's nuts it's crazy boy thank you and and it's crazy because yeah this is the content that's on ig you know where it's girls shaking themselves and you know doing whatever they want to do touching themselves all that don't stuff. don't get me wrong like i understand like yo, you're getting to the money you're you know you're doing what you need to do to create interest in your brand and in your following and, and to get by and 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 whatnot and i'm not gonna knock the hustle because yo i would like to do something where i do whatever it is that i love and get paid for it you know so if i could you know talk talk my heart to my heart's content and share my ideas and get paid for it like and 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 handsomely and live off of it are you telling me that I wouldn't do that? Hell Why yeah. Not? Yeah. So I understand what these girls are doing. Uh, but at the same time, it's like, okay, is that the only thing that we're going to see? You know? And and like, yeah, like one, one thing we were talking about, like with the whole AI thing, is that like, okay, if these things... Okay, if, if AI is is uh, artificial intelligence, and remember intelligence, so it's supposed to be smart. So it's supposed to know what you like. It's supposed to cater to what you like mm-hmm. because it is intelligent. Yes. It's supposed to you know give you recommended stuff. Yes. For instance, that's why you know whenever you sign in on YouTube, all of the shit that gets sent to you that is 
recommended is shit based on what you've seen mm-hmm. or related to what you've seen. And essentially who you are and what you like. Right. Yeah. So are you telling me that YouTube is not artificial intelligence? Are you telling me that, you know, there isn't something, obviously like, like I, I know like everyone says that it, it, there's an algorithm and yes, yes, we know that it is code, but that same code can be used in artificial intelligence. Correct. And they can program whatever robot, they can program whatever, you know, drone, they can program whatever it is to tailor to whatever it is that you like mm-hmm. and just send you targeted messages all the time and you think that, oh yeah, I'm making all of these choices by myself because it's mm-hmm. what I like. Mm-hmm. When really and truly, no you're not. Yeah. And, and, and also remember guys, this, I mean this is, I don't know if you guys are like, this, this, this is deep. Like remember that these guys, these guys know who you are. Like just think about IG and Facebook. Like, these based guys on all the know, shit that you like, yeah, based on all of the stuff are. that you search. Yes. Come on. Like they, they, they have like loads and loads of information, data, words, numbers on who you are. And so they're basically marketing to you um, based on what you like. And they do a better job of marketing to you than anyone. Like they just, they just market, market, market. They market to you based on what you watch, based on what you view, based on what you like, don't like. And like, and, and, and so they're really like this stuff actually affects your decision making. And like, we don't notice that, you know? Yeah. Um, and so I think, I think where, where we're heading, which we're talking about today as well is there's, is, is, is really just kind of the, the illusion of reality. Like there's two different, there, there's, there's, there's what's real guys. And then there's what's virtual or what's, or what's not real. Like what's an an illusion of reality. Exactly. So, so basically again, jutsu. So think of like the, the people behind the scenes as Itachi. Mm-hmm. If you watch Naruto, you'll understand the reference that I'm making. I, I, don't, I don't watch Naruto. This guy's lost in the sauce. Like, See, he's under a Genjutsu right now and he doesn't even know it. I'm so, a normal human being. Anyways, <laughs> so yeah. They hit you with the Tsukiyomi and you think that you're in your fantasy world for 72 hours, like Kakashi, getting stabbed, when really and truly it's only a couple seconds. And, you know, youth and, but, but remember, this is personal. So this is spanning years. So you're thinking, oh yeah, you know, I'm making informed decisions. I'm making decisions based on what I like. When really and truly, you've been making decisions based on what they've been feeding you. Exactly. And let's say it goes on for like five years before you snap out of it and you're like, hold on, wait. What's really going on? Five years of your life gone. Mm-hmm. It's a serious thing, guys. Like honestly, I think people today, and I, I really, I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna make, I'm not really not make fun of, but I'm sorry. I'm gonna talk about, like, if you're born after the 2000s, I feel really sorry for you because you won't be able to separate virtual reality from actual reality because you're on your phones all day. And that's all you look at, and that's normal to you. And you have to be able to, like, this is really, really crucial. You guys have to be able to separate what's real from what is not real. Because that's where we're going. And sooner or later, the, the tragedy of the, all this is when they become successful at using AI to completely market and control you, like, mentally, there will be no way to get out of that virtual reality. Like, you'll be stuck. It's almost like the Matrix. Like, you'll be stuck. Like, that will be your normal. So like that illusion will be your reality and you won't get out of it. You won't be able to get out of it. Genjutsu. And so you got to think, you guys, you guys got to start thinking about like what they're pushing to you and thinking about how these, these guys are smart, but you got to be, you got to be one step ahead, like smarter than they are. You know, you guys got to like think, okay, like, do I want to, do I want to click on that? Or do I want to like, maybe I should shut my phone off today or maybe I should look at something else. Or maybe I should read or maybe I should yeah. just do something different or, 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 or research and look at and trying to understand what how they use their tools so that you can be one step ahead like yeah. don't just buy into everything like, for instance think about like, you know, what you do you let's know? say like, you you got your phone on you know and you and you walk from let's say your house to the library your phone will tell you oh yeah you were at this place google will tell you oh were you at the library at this time 
for so many hours. Mm -hmm. What? Google's tracking me? <laughs> okay. And you and let's say you didn't even turn on the function, but it will tell you that. Google knows who you are, bro. Come on. <laughs> Google, yo, honestly, Google knows you better than you know yourself. Google knows you better than your family knows you. Like, that's how Google, like, they have information. This is, like, honestly, this sounds like a rib, but it's not. Like, they have information on who you are. So you got to be smart. Like, yeah. you got to be smart. Yeah. Like, yo, like, answer this question, guys. Like, yo, if everything went down, like, right now, like, for those of you who, who use online banking, for those of you who bank online and who don't go into banks, don't talk to anybody, you just do everything online, for, you, for those of you who, whatever, you write your tests online in school, like, what if all that shut down? Like, presto, everything shut down. Like, what would you do? Like, how would you deal with that for, like, a week? If everything just shut completely down, could you survive for, like, just a week? Just think about that. Just let that, like, run through. Just let that resonate. Just think about that. Could you survive? If you can't, turn your phones off. <laughs> <laughs> it's that simple. T turn them off. Because you're getting stupider and they're getting smarter. It's that simple, guys. Hey, you heard it here first. We're coming back with another video. Coming back. Stay tuned. Wait on it. Like, subscribe, share. We out. <laughs>